Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Steam's new download manager. I'm going to be showing you how to use it, a couple of new settings that we have. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing we need to do to open this up is of course open Steam, be logged in, and you can start from anywhere you want on your Steam application. What I'm going to be doing is coming down to the bottom middle and we're going to be looking for the downloads option right here. At the moment, my downloads are paused, but if you have any ongoing downloads, you will also see the progress down here. So we're going to be coming down here to the bottom middle. We're going to be clicking this open and in here we're going to see our brand new updated Steam download page. Now instantly it looks a lot better, but it's also a lot more user friendly and things make a lot more sense. So now it's currently split up into approximately four categories. At the top, we have what's currently downloading. We can see the game it's currently downloading here with the little preview here. We can see the name of it. On the right, we can see how much percentage it's done, if it's paused or ongoing. And we can also see all of the download and disk progress over here on the right. Below this then we have the up next games. So these are going to be in order. If you'd like to change the order, you can simply hover over any of them. You'll see this little hand icon up here and you can simply drag and drop to change the order of any of these games. If you'd like to change the currently downloading game, you can simply drag and drop it up to the very top and it will now start downloading that game instead. Of course, it will automatically start downloading. So I'm going to be pausing it in today's video, but this is really nice. It's much more intuitive. And I think this is a very clear system. Now from any of the up next game, if you would like to cancel and remove it from the queue, of course you can come to the right, click to remove from queue option, and then this will be removed from the queue. You also have the button here again to download now, which again will move it to the very top, just like dragging and dropping like we showed earlier. Below this then we have the third category that is possible, which is scheduled games. We can see the game here. We can see the total download it requires. And on the right, we can see when it's planning to be downloaded. Now, if you'd like to download this now, of course you can click the button on the right. If you'd like to cancel and remove it from the queue, you can click this button on the right here as well. Or if you'd like to drag it to the up next, instead of scheduling it for when it's actually planned to be downloaded, if you'd like to do it now instead, you can simply drag it up to the up next queue, which is really nice. And I think this is much more intuitive and easy to understand. And then finally, the last category of downloadable games is the unscheduled games. So they will not be downloaded automatically. So if you're downloading, it will automatically go through the all up next queue. It will then do the scheduled queue on the scheduled dates. However, unscheduled games will not be downloaded and will actually be held on hold until you actually manually set up the download. So at the moment, I currently have PUBG here. We have all of our default and basic information and we can easily add this to any other list here if we want. So we can add it to the up next list or we can keep it in the unscheduled list if you don't want to do it at the moment. Or if you'd like to keep it for another time, you can really easily set up and choose exactly how you want to manage your Steam downloads. And overall, I think this UI is a great new progress from Steam. I think it's much clearer to understand and just dragging and dropping instead of just clicking a single button to move it up to download now makes a lot more sense. So this is the actual basic UI. However, we do have some extra settings and hidden settings here as well. So what we can do is come up to the top right of this window. We will see this cogwheel to open the download settings for Steam. If we click this open, here we'll be brought to the download settings for our Steam. So at the top here, we have our manage Steam libraries. Again, this has had a small revamp as well. If we click Steam library downloads, here we can see all of our Steam download folders. So currently I have one on each of the drives I have installed on my PC. I have my local C drive, I have my backup D drive, and I have my Sanic F drive. To create a new download folder or a new download location, you can really easily do that here by clicking the plus button here on the right. You can then select any of the drives you have here by clicking this download. So for example, I'm gonna keep it on my C drive, and then you can select the location where you want to download your games. So at the moment, you can select any folder or even create a new folder. So simply click it, click select, and it will create a new download folder here. At the moment, I don't plan to create a new one. I already have enough. However, this is much more intuitive and makes a lot more sense. It also shows available storage here really easily, and you can easily click through and see exactly what you have. The next thing we have is the download region. Now this should be set up automatically depending on where you download Steam. However, you can feel free to come in here and change it if you like. We then have some more advanced download restrictions. So the first thing we have is only auto download games between a certain time. So if you'd like to set up a time where you want to download your games. So for example, if you only want to do it from midnight to nine o'clock, you can easily set that up here and now your games will only automatically for whatever hours you want to set so if you want to set it to off hours when you're not necessarily using your internet you can really easily have your games automatically download then the next option we have is allow downloads during gameplay so if you'd like to download your games while you're actually gaming so if you're playing an online game i'd recommend disabling this as it can affect your ping and bandwidth a little bit however if you're going to be playing offline single player games you want to update something in the background this is a great feature to have you have throttle downloads while streaming and just to make it clear this is not going to be if you're streaming via another application with OBS. It's actually going to be streaming inside Steam because that's the only way it actually knows how you're doing it. So this is only going to be related to Steam. So that's something to keep in mind with this. 
You can display download rates in bits per second instead of kilobits. This is something you can do, although I wouldn't really recommend it for most users. And then finally, you can limit the bandwidth. So if we actually enable this, you can set a bandwidth limit for how quickly you want to download in the background. So here you can enable this, set whatever you want here in kilobits per second, click apply, and then our bandwidth limit is going to be set here. For the most part, I wouldn't recommend having this on either unless you have a specific reason to do it. So I'm gonna be disabling this. However, this is a nice feature as well. And then finally, the very last thing here, you can clear download cache. So if you're having some issues downloading games or starting some apps, clearing this from time to time can help clear that up. And it's definitely something I'd recommend doing depending on what you want to do. And just like that, we've taken a look at all of the new Steam download settings, taken a quick look at the UI and explained how everything works. Overall, I think Steam has done a great new job revamping this. I think there is a couple of extra things they can do to make it even better. However, these are definitely steps in the right direction and I'm really happy to see them. I want to give a huge shout out to some of the members who are helping support the channel, Bo Franks and Sean Daly. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. If you want to have your name shout out in future videos or have some other perks, be sure to click the join button underneath any video on the channel. I definitely recommend checking it out, seeing what works there, and I'd really appreciate it and it'll help me keep making videos in the future. Anyway guys, that's how you use the new download section on Steam. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. If you want to support me, be sure to drop a super thanks in this video. I'd greatly appreciate it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.